HSBC's Pivot to Asia strategy is a key part of its plan to boost its profitability and growth in the post-pandemic era. The bank aims to increase its market share and revenues in the region, especially in China, Hong Kong, Singapore, and India. To achieve this goal, HSBC plans to invest around $6 billion in the region over the next five years. The investment will focus on four areas, wealth management, trade finance, sustainable finance and digital innovation. Wealth management is a lucrative business for HSBC, as it caters to the growing number of affluent and high net worth customers in Asia. The bank intends to expand its wealth products and services, such as insurance, asset management and private banking. It also plans to hire more than 5,000 wealth advisors and specialists in the region by 2025. Trade finance is another core strength of HSBC, as it facilitates cross-border trade and commerce in Asia. The bank aims to leverage its global network and expertise to support its clients in the region, especially in the Greater Bay Area, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership RCP. Sustainable finance is a strategic priority for HSBC, as it aligns with its vision of building a thriving and resilient future for its stakeholders. The bank plans to increase its lending and financing for green and social projects in Asia, such as renewable energy, low-carbon transport and affordable housing. It also plans to help its clients transition to a low-carbon economy and achieve their environmental, social and governance ESG, goals. Digital innovation is a key enabler for HSBC to deliver its products and services more efficiently and effectively in Asia. The bank plans to invest in new technologies and platforms that will enhance its customer experience and operational excellence. It also plans to collaborate with fintech partners and regulators to foster innovation and inclusion in the region. By investing in these four areas, HSBC hopes to capture the growth opportunities and meet the evolving needs of its customers in Asia. The bank expects that by 2023, more than half of its revenues and profits will come from the region. One of the key pillars of HSBC's growth strategy is to pivot to Asia, where it sees the most potential for profitability and expansion. The bank plans to invest $6 billion over the next five years to grow its presence and market share in the region, especially in mainland China, Hong Kong, Singapore and India. HSBC's focus on Asia is driven by two main factors, wealth and wholesale banking. The bank aims to tap into the growing affluence and demand for financial services among Asian customers, both individuals and businesses. HSBC expects to see high single-digit percentage wealth revenue growth in Asia over the next three to four years, as it offers more products and solutions to its clients across segments such as retail banking, private banking, asset management and insurance. The bank also intends to increase its focus on the strongest areas of its international wholesale business, commercial banking and global banking and markets. These segments provide financing, advisory, trade and payment services to corporate and institutional clients, as well as access to capital markets and investment opportunities. HSBC targets mid-single-digit percentage lending growth in Asia over the medium to long term, as it leverages its global network and expertise to support cross-border trade and investment flows in the region. By focusing on wealth and wholesale banking in Asia, HSBC hopes to achieve a return on tangible equity in the mid-teens for its Asian business, which already accounts for more than half of its global profits. The bank believes that its strategy is working and that it can generate strong returns for its shareholders while navigating the challenges and opportunities in the region. HSBC, one of the world's largest banks, has announced a new growth strategy for its Asian business, which is the core of its global operations. The bank aims to capitalize on the rising demand for wealth management and international banking services in the region, especially in mainland China, Hong Kong, Singapore and India. According to its medium-term outlook, HSBC expects to achieve high single-digit percentage growth in wealth revenue in Asia over the next three to four years. This will be driven by expanding its product offerings, enhancing its digital capabilities and hiring more wealth advisors. 
The bank also plans to invest in its insurance and asset management businesses in the region. In addition, HSBC targets mid-single-digit percentage growth in lending in Asia over the medium to long term, although it is more cautious in the short term due to the uncertain economic environment. The bank will focus on growing its corporate and trade finance segments, as well as its mortgage and personal lending portfolios. The bank will also leverage its international network and cross-border capabilities to serve its customers across different markets. By implementing these growth initiatives, HSBC aims to achieve a return on tangible equity in the mid-teens for its Asian business, which is higher than its group-wide target of at least 12% by 2023. The bank believes that its strategy is working and that it can generate strong returns for its shareholders by investing in its most profitable and fastest-growing region.